Welcome to the 365 Performance Show with your host, Scott Dillon. Hey everybody, so today I wanted to talk about your identity. So this crazy thing was happening the other day. I was in, I think it was like David Jones or something, and I was walking past, it was like the beauty section where all the ladies buy their makeup and all that stuff that makes them look like fancy pants. And there was this girl, she looked like she was only like eight or something, but apparently she was 12 or 13. I'm not sure, I'm not really good when it comes to ages. But this really funny thing happened, yeah? There was this old lady, older lady, she was probably maybe 60, 65, something along those lines, and she was serving this young little girl. The girl was pumped. I'm pretty sure it was like a 12th or 13th birthday. She was there with her mom and she was getting makeup and and things like that. And as as they're at the the counter, the the little kid had all this like makeup and stuff on her, making her look all all pretty. She was smiling ear to ear. And as the lady that was serving her handed her makeup in the bag, she goes to her, Now, you have a very, very special day, but remember, you're a lady now every single week you need to be putting this stuff on and most importantly you need to be saving your pocket money because you now need to be buying this for yourself and for the rest of your life as long as you want to be looking as beautiful as you do now now I'm not sure what you think of that I'm sure some people will probably think oh my god how could she say that to a little kid but this little kid looked at her and she was so stoked Because you could see in that moment, her whole identity shifted from being this little kid, this little girl, that probably the last thing she got was like a pen license to raise her status. And now here she was getting makeup, lipstick, eyes, whatever the hell else you do in that moment. And and here's the thing, like you might be laughing at this situation, but like I can tell you right now that when that little girl left that shop, the next thing that she was doing was saving her birthday money so she could go back there next time she runs out and get some more things. And I want you to have a little think about yourself in your own life, the timeline that you've been alive. When has your identity shifted at certain moments? Like it could be something, you know, maybe you went to school and you were that good kid when you were studying and you could have possibly hung around the wrong people and that shifted and then all of a sudden you were the bad boy or the bad girl or vice versa maybe you didn't pay much attention at school then it got towards you know the end of high school and you finally recognized that you really need to prioritize your studies and then all of a sudden you knuckled down and all of a sudden your identity was the smart kid in school what about when you shifted you left studying and that and you went into the workforce were you then transitioning into being a salesman a saleswoman are you an accountant or did you end up becoming a mother a father what was the thing that you identified yourself with did you play sport you were the footy guy or you're the netball person like who are you at your core what are the things that you like I guess pay attention to and value but like also like Who do you try and present yourself as when it's on the weekend? Are you the person that's wearing just, you know, casual clothes? You wear a plain t-shirt, shorts and thongs? Or are you the person who likes to dress up and be all that, always that well-dressed person? Who, Who are you, really? The reason I'm saying this is because a lot of times I'll see people that will come and work with me and my team. And maybe they haven't done anything for a long time. And that's completely fine. And you can tell what they identify themselves. Maybe it's the mother, maybe it's the father, maybe it's the busy business guy. And that's all sweet. But the moment that you can really push things along at a rapid pace is when you begin to change who and what you see yourself as. Do you see go do you see yourself as say the businessman, the overweight businessman? And then you start training, but then you're still just the businessman? Or are you, in your head, the businessman that is now training and living 
like an athlete. And by athlete, it doesn't need to be that you're going to Olympic Games, but maybe it is a case that you begin to see food, not as just some little party thing that you have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner that tastes nice, but maybe you begin to see food as fuel for your body that helps you perform, maybe not just at the gym, but also with your job and the other things that are important to you. Is your identity currently that maybe you are a mother with three kids that would do everything for their children, which is completely fine, but if you're 10, 20 kilos overweight, when you go to the gym, is your identity still ex exactly the same, or is your identity now the mother that trains consistently, feeds her children the best, healthiest things possible, sets an example, and always lives a healthy life? When I was in my space, once again, back a long, long time ago, my identity was Scott, the guy that would work really hard throughout the week and on the weekend, write himself off and hang out with his friends. That began to change once I didn't like that anymore. My identity began to be Scott, the guy that works hard during the week, then on the weekends would go surfing. I ended up seeing myself as the surfer guy instead of the party pants. Once I began to see myself in that way, really, it sounds a bit stupid but like the music I listened to was different I would dress a little bit differently I'd make different choices like I'd get up really early in the morning to go surfing instead of stay out really really late to go partying and it's just something I want you to think to yourself about because I see this with our clients a lot of times we'll have people that have been there for a long time and they've still got that same identity and then they're not working on changing that when all of a sudden you, we could get a new client and they really shift this identity piece and they blow it out of the water. And a lot of times the other client is stuck just sort of wondering what's going on. But a lot of time, this is what it's linked to. So hopefully this resonates with you in some way, shape or form. It doesn't need to be a huge thing, but just something for you to consider and think about how it can possibly translate to your own life. Hope you're having a good day and I'll speak to you soon.